assalamu alaikum viewers i hope you are fine and doing well today in this uh, in this tutorial we are going to discuss uh, file system watcher like uh, in the previous tutorial we did uh, how can we create a file text file and how can we write inside that file and then how can we read from that file now as we have this folder file folder in which we are writing um, that uh, into the text file creating that text file so in this tutorial uh, we will be discussing how can we detect any change in if there is any change inside this folder for example if someone create a new text file okay if someone delete the text file or if there is a change in their text txt extension file so we will get a notification for that first of all we have to uh, you know install a file system watcher library if you don't have inside your application if you have well and good from here you can download tools from manage nugget packages okay for, but uh, before you install you have to connect it into the internet okay i already had i didn't need to install it because i had when i created this project so i have it when you create you might be having this uh, library by default but if you don't you can download from there okay so uh, look i created this uh, method folder watcher change okay it's void returning nothing inside that uh, i created the instance of this uh, file system watcher okay you have two parameter here path and filter okay you have to give a path okay inside which folder you want to detect the change so same folder in which we are created we have created the file text file okay it's the same folder so i give it this path and i give it filter like all those extension with text just detect me the change okay if there is a text file uh, if there is a file with text extension give me the change if someone created someone deleted or someone made some changes okay before that you have to uh, create their handler okay so if someone created a new file in that folder okay call this method which i have created here on change method this is the method if someone deleted call that on change method if someone changed inside that txt file call that method and here watcher dot enable uh, raising event okay it's, it should make it true so if there is any uh, change inside uh, any of these events occur so it will uh, be detected and it will come to this method okay uh, you can give it any name so i have give it the name on change <clears throat> okay so for example if someone create a new file it will come to this method if someone delete or change okay and then you can detect like this way uh, when it this uh, method is hit you can see okay if it is deleted if it is created if it is changed so whatever you want you can do with it but before you have to call this method whenever the application is started for example when i run this application uh, first by default it came to this index action okay so i have called that method here okay because you need to uh, first call that in the start of that application so i called it here and then it will be automatically detecting the chain let run and check okay guys i have uh, run the application now we will see okay i will go to this folder this is my folder first of all like we already have this uh, um, I already have uh, so I already have okay you can check this one wait it is actually divided into two screens okay so we already have uh, uh, where is the folder this is the folder okay so I will delete this file from here 
look this is the file with text extension which we have defined here so if I delete this file yes look it is automatically detecting the change if you go it will say it is deleted the file is deleted so you can do whatever you want you can tell them why you deleted the file any thing you can do here okay so this was an first function now I again again I will okay undo it so it will be created here okay it will be treated like it is created I there is no nothing here and a new file is created I undo delete it so if you go and check the event will be created okay because I have defined here if created go to this if deleted go to if there is change go to this so I created again actually I undo it but it is created actually if I make changes inside for example if I make some changes I add it like this and save on save it will be detected and if you go down it will say this is changed so it will go to this one right changed see okay guys so through this way we can detect uh, any uh, change that occurs in a file and a specific path which we can define here we can define the path here we can define which extension you want to um, to detect a change inside and then we can define the event handler okay create it delete it if you want only um, to detect the change if there is something created file is created then you can you should uh, only include this one not these two okay and then on change for on change you have to create the method okay and then you can detect it okay guys if you have any question you can ask and uh, uh, thank you so much for watching but please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos thank you guys